Greetings, Petroheads. Welcome back to Automation and Car Company Tycoon Games. So today, uh, now, or let's start uh, with the thing, uh, thing that last time, last time we did, uh, I did a tutorial on how to build a budget in a four engine, excuse me? Okay, now it's working properly. Um, with, in, in 2015 at least. So, uh, there, there is that engine. We made it a 1.8 liter, 111 horsepower, 159 newton meters, nothing wrong with that. Decent economy, good reliability, you know, stuff that you would put into a budget car. That doesn't need to be very fast or anything like that. Now today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to build a an eco engine based on this one. Um, Low friction cast pistons are the best for economy. You can see that economy dropped by more than 10% here. Reliability went down because we went for turbos. But you know, oh no, we don't have turbocharged yet, but it's, uh, it's okay. Um, first of all, we're gonna use ball bearing and then a medium, air to a medium water to air cooler. Uh, compression needs to go down, obviously. What are we running this on? 95 octane fuel, so okay, we can go higher in here. Okay, now we're gonna reduce the turbine size and the compressor size quite a lot. This is like an everyday engine, it's, it's, it's uh, not really performance oriented or anything like that. So, what we want is we want this on um, this turbo to spool up relatively early so that we have to torque early and uh, we basically the uh, economy graph is usually pretty much the inverse of the torque graph so where you have where you have the most torque your engine is usually the most efficient and that is very helpful in how you should set up your turbo engine the compressor size um, is the size of the compressor which is i believe this thing no that is the turbine um i believe the compressor is this one no the compressor is Let, let's actually see oh that's that one <laughs> so this is the compressor it compresses the air basically oh, I, I should maybe explain in, in a few words very simply how turbos work so basically an engine when when you, when it's doing its combustion uh, combustion it emits exhaust gases those exhaust gases go through the exhaust pipes into the turbo then mm, where they're kind of filtered and then the compressor um, brings the uh, brings the clean get the clean air back into the engine through the air intake and the exhaust gases the emissions are you know emitted through the exhaust that is basically how a turbo works in very simple terms it's not the most accurate description but just to get a little bit of an idea and uh, if we if we want more power we can we can increase the compressor size, the turbine size, the AR ratio, the maximum boost. Um, the compressor size, if you increase it, it'll make it so the turbo spools up later, but it'll also add more power. However, only to a certain extent, depending on what your um, turbine size, what your AR ratio is, what your cam profile is, it depends on a lot of things. AR ratio is basically like it functions in a similar way the, the more you increase it the later your turbo will spool up but also the more power you will get uh, that happens at a much higher rate though but it'll also change your torque curve quite significantly you can see that here we're making 235 newton meters at 3100 rpm and increasing it increasing it just by a few points we we'll moved the uh, max, uh, maximum torque by 500 RPMs and without increasing it very much. But we did gain 6 horsepower. 
so let's put it back to 0.9 max boost um obviously the, the the pressure at which the at which the uh, air is you know blown back into the engine um the maximum boost the maximum boost pressure and uh, the higher you go the more power you can make but also the the less reliable the engine will be because it takes you know pretty strong parts to be able to handle that pressure and also the more you increase it the more your economy will suffer so for an eco engine i recommend this to be at around 0.6 maybe 0.7 you can you can also do that 0.7 or some some somewhere around there um okay so now we are making 129 horsepower with 0.6 bars i'm gonna increase it just to 0.65 there we go why did i do that because increasing the boost will give you more torque basically and more torque with the same torque curve makes it so so you um so you make your power um earlier and i didn't if i go back to 0.6 we're making the max power right at the red line and i don't want that i want it to be a little bit before the red line which is where we're at right now 130 horsepower at 5700 rpm is a decent amount for a 1.8 liter turbo however we still have a, a little bit of fuel octane left here that we can use which we are going to adjust now 133 horsepower the the exhaust is now a little bit restrictive uh with 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 a turbo you can currently only select a short cast header that's also something worth mentioning 136 horsepower so we're making this a little bit too late for my personal taste which is why i think we're going to decrease the ignition timing a little bit and the ignition timing is like basically with a naturally aspirated engine as you've seen in the last episode um it doesn't always necessarily give you more power when you increase the ignition timing that was on the naturally aspirated engine on the turbo engine is it's almost always whenever you increase ignition timing it'll give you more power i still have yet to learn and understand why that is different on the turbo than on the naturally aspirated engine but for now that's you know that's how it works that's all you really need to know in in, in the game when you're trying to set up an engine so now we have wait well we're not we're not running point eight bar boost anymore we have 0.65 bars of boost at 2200 rpm which given modern turbo engine is still kind of late for the maximum boost to come in but at the same time most modern uh, turbo engines have something like bmw's twin scroll technology where you have basically two I don't know what what to say two two turbo no or two two turbines in one turbo if that makes any sense or or there are twin and tur turbo charged all, all all together like you have one one turbo that uh, makes less boost but uh, kicks in earlier and then you have one that kicks in later but makes more boost so you don't have the turbo lag you don't have very, you don't have very much uh, delay in power delivery but we don't have that in the game yet it will come it will come eventually i'm not putting any pressure here on the devs or anything but um yeah this is why the the figures might be a little bit off so 136 horsepower for a 1.8 liter turbo eco engine is actually quite nice i would say 32.99 percent economy is really good i mean we can we can go for more actually so let's try that um we can decrease the ar ratio by a couple of points like you can increase it by a lot too if you can live with a very low amount of power that's also fine if we can go to down to like 125 you also see that the torque now is very peaky so the ar ratio gives you more like it gives you more mid and uh, top range torque which you can see right here 
I'm gonna go go get it a little bit further down again. Our turbo is now spooling up to its max boost at 2100 RPM. Can we get it below 2000? I'm, I'm sure we can, but our power outputs are probably gonna suffer quite a bit. 120 horsepower. Boost still at 2100 RPM. We're actually less economical now than before. Yeah, the compressor, the increasing the compressor size sometimes, at least to a certain point, uh, makes your engine more efficient. Now we lost that. Okay. Now we're making our power at 6000 RPM, which means we are going to decrease the, uh, the AR ratio again. There we go at 5700. This is, this by the way is a torque curve you don't really want. Because first of all there's not much of it and it's only available at one point and then it drops again. But it's very economical, 34.64%. Can get the economy even a little bit higher, I think, if we decrease the turbine size a little bit. And then increase the ignition timing a little bit. At 5300 RPM. Now we, we're gonna make this just a super eco and very reliable turbo engine. 224.4, <laughs> it's how much percent? 34.9%. Uh, low friction gas is what we're already using. Good. Um, actually, 115 horsepower is about as as low as I want to go with a 1.8 liter engine. Because you know you gotta you gotta you gotta make a cut at some point. But this is the more economical engine. I recommend, however, going for something that has a little bit more, a, a, a little bit more of a predictable torque curve, because that will make it so uh, you just have then make it so you have better drivability. So all I'm getting at. Um, I trying to replicate the. Thing that we had before oh we had 0.9 here there we go this is the, this is pretty much the setup i recommend turbo spools up fully at 2200 rpm which is early enough and you got a nice little torque curve and that and it, the power flattens out at at the at the top range so you have a useful power band between like say 4500 and 6000 rpm you got mid-range torque and in the mid-range it's also very economical so reliability is also at 73.6 which for a turbo engine without using any quality sliders it's actually really good and that is how you set up a decently drivable and very economical in and for turbo engine hope you enjoyed leave a like or a comment if you did thank you for watching i will see you next time